Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Adobe Media Encoder CC. Adobe Media Encoder isn't exactly a creative piece of software from Adobe, but it is really important when you're working with video because the encoding of a video is very important to different aspects of video editing. Some um, encodings work better than others when you're streaming. Um, for example, some are more optimized towards HD streaming like the H.264. Um, there's also some downloadable uh, encodings that you can get and so you got to kind of understand how to convert some footage to a different um, type of encoding and Adobe Media Encoder is great for that. There aren't a lot of programs out there that can actually basically take one encoding and convert it to every other encoding in the book and that's why Media Encoder is really important. Um, it's great for doing things like taking 4K footage and bringing it down to 1080p so that you can edit it and then proxy um, the footage to the original footage. Um, it's great for changing it up so if you're posting on YouTube or something and you want it to be in a streamable format so that it's quickly um, able to work with YouTube, it's, it'll process quicker and YouTube won't have to convert it for you which means you get more control over it before they convert it. So yeah, there's a lot of re uh, different reasons to use Adobe Media Encoder and it can just be, it's just a great tool to know when you're working with the Adobe Suite. So the first thing you need to do um, is you need to find some footage that you want changed basically. So um, find footage that you would like transferred to a different type of footage. So for example, I'm gonna grab this footage and drag it in here. You can grab any footage from your desktop from a folder like right here and just drag it straight into Adobe Media Encoder. You can also go into File and then um, File, and then you can go down to Add Source, and there's a bunch of different places where you can uh, just go through your thing and find the footage that you want. So once it's in Adobe Media Encoder, on the bottom here, it's going to look a lot like the After Effects Render Queue and the um, the Premiere Pro Render Queue, and that's just because it's basically the same thing. Um, Adobe wouldn't have written, you know, 14 different programs to render out in each one of them. They all basically contact Adobe Media Encoder, and Adobe Media Encoder just brings it all together. So beneath your footage, you're going to have what format you want it to be brought out in. So if you hit the drop down menu, you have a bunch of different options of where you want to transfer it to. Um, right now, I'm transferring it into H.264. Um, the next one is the preset. So there are a ton of presets of what you might be aiming to broadcast this out in. So yeah, like if we switch the thing to an A.264 and I was going to YouTube, I might use the YouTube preset. And that is just going to change everything up in here. And if you look, this looks exactly like the Premiere Pro um, encoder. And like I said, it's because it is. Uh, Premiere Pro is just talking to Media Encoder when it does its stuff. And that's why when you hit Q, there's a Q button in a Media um, in Premiere Pro and in After Effects, the Q just sends it to Media Encoder. And you can actually put a bunch of stuff in the Q and have it all render at one specific time. So when you set a preset, it's just going to go through and it's going to set all of these different little settings for you. Making sure that they're all optimized for whatever the preset um, is. So YouTube has certain specifications and it has certain things that if they aren't in accordance with the stuff that YouTube wants to do, that it's going to process and change it so that it is. And that means that you could lose quality. Um, it might compress it in a way that you don't want it to be compressed and stuff like that. So if you do it here, you have more control over that stuff. And then the last one is the output folder. Just choose a folder on your desktop to, so that it'll be saved um, to, uh, just like any other thing of where you're saving it to. Just click on that and you can change it up. And then the last step really is just to click the play button right here and Adobe will start its rendering right down here. If you have multiple ones, it'll go through one, then it'll just switch up to the next one, and it'll keep going until all targets have been rendered out. Um, the Over here on the left side, you have the media browser, and this is so you don't have to open up like um, the third-party Windows media browser. You can actually just go through, um, open up a file in here, and have them all accessible so you can drag. You can you know highlight everything and just drag it over um, for a mass conversion. So great thing over here, um, little, um, almost a bridge, uh, Adobe bridge kind of over here so you can look for media to 
convert. And then down here, you have your preset browser. Like I said, there are downloadable presets. There are downloadable formats and codecs. So you can download them. And if you want to add one, you just create right here. And you can um, create your own encoding preset or ingest preset and save it so that later on, um, you can just click that preset every time instead of having to go through and change slight settings around. So that is Adobe Media Encoder, a really simple program. Um, a little intimidating at first if you don't really know what's going on, but it's really simple to use and it's an extremely powerful tool. One of the things that makes Adobe stand out is because like I said, there aren't a lot of these programs out there. So yeah, if you need something encoded, always remember you have Media Encoder. It works with pictures too. You can encode back and forth in the different picture codecs. Um, it's a great tool and now that you know how to use it, you should have a lot more power whenever you're needing to convert something. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, until next time, guys. See ya.